Hey guys. So I'll give it a minute here for a few of you to get in. Have some big news. All right, so first of all, today I tried to sponsor a certain event that had to do with benefiting cops for cancer. And I wouldn't say he directly told me no, but he pretty much told me no. Um, <laughs> because they didn't want my money. My money wasn't good enough for cancer. Um, hey guys, thanks for coming, mutt. <laughs> But my money wasn't good enough for cops for cancer for an event. I'm not going to say the uh, name of the place uh, running all of that. But anyway, because I kind of see certain sides of things. But then it's like, well, did you actually watch that? They're talking about the veterans home employees uh, apparently not liking me. I, I guess they wouldn't like me. But, you know, the weird thing is that I'm not the one that opened like 24 lawsuits either because my family members were hurt. But, uh, and then it kind of brought up the issue where I don't think they understood that I understand that it's <laughs> all the issues at the veterans home weren't at fault of the CNAs. It was at fault of all these people way above the CNAs, way above. I know, I got to actually uh, keep it um, within time today because you guys know how I get when I get on these. But anyway, so that was actually rather disappointing. I kind of thought that that could come up. But I thought it was disappointing. I was like, what do you mean? You don't want my money for fucking people with cancer? Like, I just I just didn't understand that. But whatever. Um, that's on them. I was considering maybe challenging him to donating the extra amount that I was going to donate himself. Because he's already putting, I'm sure, a lot into it. Um, but anyway. Nonetheless. So there was that. That was disappointing. Um... But also, also today, I spoke with the LaSalle County Sheriff's Office, um, and they notified me that, remember how they had me speaking into that speaker so they could write down my complaint, and they, and they, uh, and they, uh, <laughs> they didn't. They certainly didn't. Apparently, there was no record of it, and according to Sergeant Baxter, who I was speaking with, that Lieutenant Dyke, who has played part in kicking me out, trespassing me while I was conducting business before, that Lieutenant Dyke um, said that I wanted to only do it verbally, which in part was true. But if you remember, they threatened me with arrest if I didn't stand there and do it against that speaker so they could write it down. Um, so, yeah. So that definitely was... Uh, I got the birds in here. I'm hoping they don't poop on me. <laughs> so, yeah, that was definitely disappointing. That definitely makes me, I was thinking how I haven't paid the Veterans Home a visit again anyway. And actually, I met a few of their employees who had good things to say, actually, and understood what I was doing. It is unbelievable. And actually, back to that. John Dyke was there to speak to that man, but by the time he went to transfer me, I don't know, one minute later, couldn't get a hold of him. No answer. Nobody answered from there on out besides Sergeant Baxter again, who at least hasn't directly been involved in it. So that's really strange to me that they failed to write it down after they threatened me with arrest, kept me there forever, and the person that was threatening me with it was Kai Denault, who was the same guy that when I was over at the recorder's office, he's the same guy that said, oh, is this a disturbance? This is a disturbance. You need to leave me. And it's like, what the heck? I also tried contacting the state's attorney's office again because I have my, my separate victim thing there. And I still, the only thing I've heard back from them since last Wednesday when I paid a visit, hey, sorry, I'm not reading them good because I'm rambling. But, um, was I saying? Oh, the only thing I got in the mail was something saying, oh, you're going to be subpoenaed to trial. It had nothing to do with the repeated abuse and harassment 
So I've been dealing with from LaSalle County Sheriff's Office employees um, while I am a victim in their state's attorney's office. They chose to uh, do it, and now they're not keeping them from doing what they're doing. The way they handle complaints is real. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very unclear how they actually handle them because it changes every day. It actually changes like minute by minute, but okay. So moving on, my great freaking news. <laughs> So pumped. I've been being quiet. Well, my few people have known, but I've been being quiet about it since this um, began. But I, I have uh, fired my lawyer and I feel so great about it. I'm so excited. I do have a new attorney um, named Wayne Slaughter and I have way more faith in him than I do in Dave. Dave, um, Dave Shostokas, who's been running for attorney general of Illinois while I've had him as my lawyer, he missed a court date of mine, just didn't show up and then claimed, he lied to me saying he was sick because I was like, whatever, you know, I guess somehow it happens, right? But he lied to me saying he was sick and in reality, I saw via his Facebook that he had actually been on some uh, radio show podcast. Um, so that was strange since he was so sick. Uh, <laughs> but that's why trial didn't get done sooner anyways, because that was way back in November. And I sent Dave before, well, as as I let him know that he was no longer uh, representing me, um, I sent him a detailed text pinpointing the reasons why, you know, and, and I'd have to text him like seven, eight times to get him to say something back. And these are like pertinent, important things with, with, my trial, like like the fact of, oh, are we going to make sure that none of the court security officers get to have any dealings with the jury leading it, you know, things that should be contacted back about, you know, and uh, even like the numerous times where they've recently abused me. So finally, I'm like, dude, I can't trust you with, yeah, I can't trust you with, with doing all this. And actually within like 10 minutes of me texting him that, then he tries to text me twice and tries to call me right away. And that's something I haven't been able to get him to do like at all. And even we were supposed to meet at the end of May and then the date comes and I'm like messaging him like, hey, what, what, what's up, what are we doing? And he just straight up blew me off, just didn't say anything. And finally, days later, he says something saying, oh, I'm traveling in Southern Illinois because he's campaigning for attorney general. It's like, dude, why don't you not take cases, especially like one like mine you think would be important in, in that type of election. Hi, Gleam. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to Hi, Charles. Brian. Yes, yes, he is. <coughs> I know, it's been forever. But, um, so yeah, I'm really, like, yeah, we have trial on July 18th, so there's a lot to get done in that time. But uh, that's kind of what I was debating with before. I took the leap and was like, screw Dave. I don't trust Dave. He, I just don't think he has my best interests in mind. And there's, even when I sent him the recording where, where LaSalle County Sheriff's Office tried to hide it, but I foia it another way and got a hold of it, where you can hear Tom Templeton, um, I got my brief. You can hear the former Sheriff Tom Templeton calling up Ottawa Police Department like half an hour or so after Jacob and I reported those batteries on 3-2 and he intercepted it and pretty much said, well, now we want to report a battery after they said, oh, well, we understand. Hey, thanks, thanks. Um, like, you know, they're like, after we understand uh, that they try to report a battery and whatnot. And also, he just didn't want to respond to that either at first. Like, what the hell? Oh, thank you. Yeah, actually, uh, I was trying to go back towards my light nor my normal color, but then something happened and it was kind of like, not orangey, but kind of bright orangey blondy. So I wanted to leave it alone for right now so I don't screw it up anymore. <coughs> so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this whole new lawyer thing. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that we don't have a lot of time in between, but also, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather just be in a time crunch with somebody that I think is going to um, fight for justice and for the truth. I mean, that's a thing, like, I couldn't push Dave. He didn't want to file, like, any of the things I wanted. Like, he just, 
do not vote for David Shostokas for the Attorney General of Illinois. That's something I definitely know. Um, I was very disappointed because he's like a constitutional lawyer. He's like big and all that, writes books with it, all this. And then sits here and has people pay thousands of dollars. I actually paid a flat rate fee, right? So whether we go to trial or not, because I knew it was probably going to go to trial. Um, so I thought that was in my best interest money-wise and everything else. And um, what was I going to say? Uh, I got distracted. Oh, and then twice he tried to ask me for more money. And I'm like, what do you mean? He tried to do it at the very next court date after after he missed the one before. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I just was not impressed at all, at all. I highly would not recommend Dave to anybody, um, at least not when he's running for any office. I know that much. I mean, he seems like a smart guy, but just completely flaky. And it's like, dude, this is... And I, I made it clear before he finally got canned. I made it clear that I was having issues with these. I was like, dude, it's like impossible to get a hold of you. Like all these different things. He just, nothing. But um, yet he claims that he's so against corruption and against all this stuff. It's like, but are you really? Because this would have been a great time for you to show that off and really, really fight for one of your clients. Who, It's obvious. I mean, <laughs> with Jim's injury. There's a 15 second window between when I did my little battle cry when I was like, I was like, no, you have your whole fucking body on me. Now get away from me. I have a right to be in this building, right to turn my complaint. And then he puts his wrist up on that door frame. And according to his narrative, that between then and the time Jacob walks out the door, which is about 15 seconds, I think it's really 13 seconds. Hey, audit then. Good to see you here. But um, so in that 15 second period, I caused four marks on there. Now, that just didn't occur. I mean, you can literally see I'm not pushing against him in those moments or at all, but uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Again, Justice Jake is, what, next week, Jake, you're on here, right? What day is it, the 15th? Oh, I got to really be watching the time. Okay. I only got like three more minutes. But yeah, Justice Jake goes next week. Of course, I will be at... Uh, I don't know how long it'll go, so I'll at least for sure be there day one of trial. Hopefully, we'll see how things go. Um, I know Jay, Jacob's going to smash it. That's that's another thing, is that me and Jake were talking recently about how, yeah, June 15th and 21st for the trial. So Jacob's trial is the 21st, and 15th is jury selection. But me and Jacob were talking, like, earlier this week before I canned him, because I canned him days ago now. But, um... Seeing how, like, I had more faith in my brother going pro se than I did with my attorney defending me because he just didn't give a shit enough to actually look at what we had. It was weird. It was very weird. But, I mean, I also, some of it's like, well, I don't know if I'm expecting too much. And then I realized I wasn't. My daughter was in the hospital. I texted him that morning that we officially got admitted. Um, and... I said, hey, because we were supposed to have a trial set for January 7th or something. I said, hey, blah, 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 telling him about JoJo. and like saying, I don't know what's going on. And, um, you know, and at that point, I had no idea we'd be there for like the whole month. But um, I, I had to contact him multiple times throughout the next several days for even a response. I'm like, you suck. Like, what the hell? Ooh. Oh, that'll be a good day, see? <laughs> she deserves one. Yeah, so there's just a lot of reasons why I knew that he had to go. Like, I just did not feel safe at all. At all. So, definitely not something I recommend doing right before your trial. But that's the thing. Like I said, I didn't know, like, if I was expecting too much of him. Like, being needy-wise. But I'm like, no, these people keep doing all this. They've done it over and over and over again. Hold on. I don't want to click on it. Lovelies, uh, yes, but she's doing so much better, even with us tapering her right now. She's doing so much better. Uh, Dave's last name is Shostokas, Gem Girl. S-H-E-S-T-O-K-A-S. 
Um, but yeah, JoJo's doing very well. She's still doing her physical therapy, and I'm injecting her myself. That that's not going that well. <laughs> but you know, uh, I'd be God. It scares me enough. I could imagine being her. But yeah, she's definitely uh, come a long, long way, and her her stamina is a lot better. Her walking's like 50 times way better because she couldn't even walk for that while there. It took a long time to like get her. Took a long time to do a lot of things with her, but now she's playing with her friends. She's riding her bike. I mean, she still has like certain things we gotta be mindful of and whatnot. But at least she's uh, doing better with what we're doing right now. Cause I was terrified. That's another thing. Why I was so upset that Dave, because uh, my brother, I told Dave I wanted to have my trial either late May or sometime in June, cause I didn't know if late May could happen. And he's like, okay, whatever. And then we get up in front of the judge. And then they set a July trial date. And I'm like, I was so mad because it's literally like the week where we take her off one of the medicines completely. And it's like the medicine where it like uh, makes me feel like it's, I don't know. I just am scared. And anyway, I was madder than a hornet when I left that courtroom. But I, you know, I was trying to keep myself composed. And uh, then... He's like, well, they, they didn't have any dates, blah, blah, blah. Well, but my brother, he goes into court three days after me, three, four days, and somehow manages to get a June court date like how I wanted when we have the same judge. You can't tell me that what, what between that time there was a random time that opened up. Like, I don't believe it. And when I confronted Dave about it, again, I didn't hear anything. And when he finally responds, he, uh, he just ignores that part. But, um, so, I mean, I just couldn't handle it with him anymore. I just don't, didn't trust him. And even when I gave him that whole list, because I, I literally numbered them out. Like, I let this guy know exactly why he was no longer going to be representing me. Because it's important to do that, I think. Yes, yes. He sounds great on paper. Not that good. Don't buy any of his books. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, he tried to basically turn it around and say, because it's true that we had to push trial off for about six months because of JoJo's stuff. So he um, did do continuances and stuff on my behalf. So I give him that, but that is not one of the things that I listed being a problem between the time of trial till now, or between the arrest and trial. Um, that wasn't my problem because I know that I pushed it off at that point because I had to. I didn't have a choice. What was I going to do? Um, so yeah, and then I sent him a very detailed thing, letting him know, like, no, I never accused that of being the problem. I know that, hey, Lenny, you have to go back and watch the beginning because we got some new stuff. But um, it just pissed me off that he was going to try and use the JoJo thing against me as if me needing to push off trial had anything to do with his terrible communication skills where he just won't review half the evidence, all this. Like, it was ridiculous. So... I feel super good about that. Um, actually, since I got him through Legal Shield, uh, I do not have to pay extra money for my new attorney, <laughs> even because uh, I found out you can do that if they don't work out. I wish I knew that a couple months ago because I was like, well, I'm not going to shell out thousands more for a, another idiot that might not might not represent me, right? You know. So I don't know. Yeah, I was very disappointed though for the cops or cancer thing. Um, what? I don't get it. They didn't want Accountability Angel to be a sponsor, technically, is what it was. They probably would take my money if it was just a regular donation, but not for me to do the sponsorship one. I'm like, well, fine. But that was definitely uh, disappointing, especially because the veterans' home was shown to be doing terrible things. They're leaving the PPE everywhere and all that, and I get their people are overworked, and I know people that work there, actually. But uh, for that to be the reasoning was rather odd. Rather odd. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Yeah, Lenny, I did it myself. I need to actually go get a trim because I haven't had an actual trim in forever. Too long. <clears throat> yeah, but definitely disappointing news because it's like, uh, why wouldn't that be a good thing? Actually, in the town I'm speaking of is where, like I said, I'm not saying the name, but uh, I just gave their chief 
excellent reviews, awesome reviews when I was there. You guys saw it. You guys liked it, most of you. You know? So, I don't understand. But I'm make sure that they regret doing that. And that uh, next time they're going to be like, damn. They really did set her up. Because <laughs> I am pretty excited for trial. Like, I know this guy's got a lot to do in five weeks. But, uh, Wayne. But, um. Oh, you can get it done. There's so much. There's just so much showing that they're fucking liars. It's disgusting. It really is. Yeah, way better off. I feel so much better. Way, way better. But anyway, um, yeah, that's all I have for today. So that was my big news is uh, screw you, David Shostokas, for dragging me along this far, for doing almost nothing for me, and for blaming my daughter's sickness on why you... Or a shitty lawyer. But um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have more up for you uh, sometime this week. All right, bye.